Uh, see, the major problem now is that the way that this project is executed, because we have a lot of roads that have been actually been tied since the president of Peru came, came into power. But we don't, have, so we don't have an... an, an but the an, problem an, now is that the nature of the roads, most of uh, the, these roads are tied, but they are not done in, in, a, in a durable way. So because we see, in some of these places, you see roads that are tied in the less than one year, the roads have started getting bad. And those are, that is the situation that is happening eventually in all part of, all, all, all the part of the country. And the problem, which, as I said, what problem, of course, one of the major problems just remains this issue of bad governance. There's no check and balance. When you go, like, somebody is given a uh, project, just the, the fact that the project money of, his, of their project is being taken from one place to the other from the contractor, the contractor end up not doing the project well. And this should just go with, with this issue of embezzlement, corruption, and bad governance because that's where the major problem lies. Because in terms of road infrastructure, projects, well, I have done a lot, but the problem now is that the durability of these roads are not uh, last, not lasting for even for for like one year. Because sometimes even here in Dwala, we see roads have been tied for less than one year. You see that the roads have started getting bad. So we don't, uh, everybody is asking the question: what, what what actually is happening? Are these contractors not being monitored? Are those those so do, does we don't have does a do that uh what is control not have other competent authorities or other competent agent that can go about money to monitor this project to make sure this project is uh, executed in the right way the, pro the question the problem now is that when this those protector are, are, are executing this project they are they, most of often they are giving this project not following the right the right norms the right rules normally really that the, the, the contract awarded. contract award is is not like uh, you have a tender that is is done openly for people to you know apply and get the the, the contract at the end of the day it's just like you call your friend amadu I have something for you. Come and then they do it back door. No, without any transparency, nothing. No, also that's not why it's done. As I said, the issue here is that the president of the public, most often we have, in terms of institutional the way they do things, they do things the way it's supposed to be done. But the practical part remains the problem. In terms of award of contracts, it's a normal thing. When they want to award a contract, they, they open like, open the way for everybody to apply. But what is there is that you you it will apply, you keep applying, and you waste wasting your time. No matter how competent you, competent you are, they will follow the formality to say that the formality has been done. But at the end, they will award the contract to their friends. To the friends or close relatives or those that were able, able, have accepted to to give them the amount that they want to do what they want them to be given to at, at the end so that's why that that's how these people go about doing any kind of work but they know that the same people that gave them the contract they can they are the ones that are supposed to monitor them and they give the result based on the money that they have so given to them. another question people may want to ask uh, how has president paul Bia been able to rule cameroon this long with all the problems that we are having for 21 years <laughs> it's really, this is a good, this is, it's really, it's really not an easy thing to do that. <laughs> it's not an easy thing because the for the funniest thing is that we have a president that is ruling a country, ruling a country only on the as we were people hearing on decree and other days because we have a, an invisible president in the country. A president that is, we have mm. so many things that happen. Invisible, Cameroon. invisible. He used to go out before. He, he used to go out as a, as a president. We see a, a president or hear about a, a president once in a while. So oh, Cameroonian. Have you ever seen the president with your eyes? No. Uh, how, how come? I'm, I'm not. I've seen. I've seen him only on TV. Hello. Good morning and welcome. Hello? Yes, good morning, sir. Welcome, your name. Okay. Um, uh, yes, I am Nugap, George Bantal from Fumbot. Yes. In fact, uh, your program is very impressive. I really like the way you are doing it. Mm. Yeah, uh, please, you, you should be responsible. Is, uh, please. please, please, please. For the problem of... Uh, please, are you there? Are you there? So the real route is a route that has been promised about 50 years ago. <laughs> I don't think that can even be realized. Within the 41 years, it has not been done. I don't think it can be done. Uh, going back to the presidential election of 2025, I will feed Cameroonians to leave the poor beer die or, or finish his mandate as a life president. <laughs> we are making elections to do what again? He has his time to do on earth. Uh, for me, let us leave him free. We should organize different things. Think how we'll take Cameroon ahead. That thinking about election. He will still win. So I don't know, we should not be thinking about the uh, election. So in fact, that, that's my own contribution. Th thank you very thank much. Thank you sir. very much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, you, you heard the caller, that we should just surrender everything. That even we do what President Pobia will still win again. No, we forget we, about election. No, we will not surrender. We we'll keep trying our best to see because I. We, I said we should think of how to move Cameroon forward and forget about election. How are we going to move our Cameroon forward that election? Because the election remains one of the most. He says they should have, they should allow President Paul Bia there in power, let him rule until when the, his <laughs> ancestor will call him. No, no, I don't think I don't think that's what it's supposed to be. We we'll keep doing our best. I know that there's a possibility for change, no matter how long it will take or it has taken. There's still possibility for for change. At least Cameroon need to first of all, as when we talk about the, the election, we'll go make sure that the race election. So that, that's we'll why we'll I ask you now that. That's why I asked you this question that how yeah. how has President Pobia been able to rule Cameroon for this long? And the caller is just saying now probably one of the reasons why <laughs> Cameroon he's been able because Cameroon they don't they don't care again. They just, yeah, because
because they, they have been frustrated and things have, they have made things in such a way that Cameroon will be afraid. Many people are afraid even to talk, to stand up and talk. There are some people that have important information that uh, uh, can give Cameroonian time or benefit Cameroonian, but they are afraid to talk. That because of the intimidations and all kind of things that people are suffering on daily basis because they go out to speak to speak the truth. And that's the same thing that the government and the BR regime have been trying to intimidate Cameroonians. It's, through this, it's this intimidation that they have been doing, going on with whatever they are doing without any problem. Whenever they are in the election, even so, this place, you go there and see the kind of fraud that is going on in this place. And when you try to, to say to open a ward, the security, the security officer will take, they will take you on air, and then people might not even see you again. You might just go, go like you are going and go to, to, to prison. So they are using every to do every possible to do every possible to using the law to silence innocent Cameroonians, to silence those that are, are trying to express their own opinion or those that are trying to speak the truth or right speak the right the right thing that's supposed to be yeah, in Cameroon. Morning.